Have fun! Fun schmun! Hi! I was hoping you'd come to see me. What do you want to do first? Move the star to anything in my nest and press the button. Hooray! It's time to play What's My Rhyme? I just know you're gonna love it. We get to make up a poem together. First comes my part. I'll tell you the beginning of a rhyme, but I'll leave out the very last word that rhymes. Then it's your turn. You look around my nest for something that rhymes. Move your star to something that rhymes with what I say, then press the button. In the morning, it's a shock when the bell rings on my... In the morning, it's a shock when the bell rings on my clock. You did it! You made a rhyme! I just love making rhymes, don't you? Come back and play again anytime. M. Hello there. Are you having fun? What's your favorite letter? Mine is S. Hello, bird. Do that again. Look at all those sparkles. <laughs> Hello there. Flowers. Who do you want to call? Ernie and Bert? Or Snuffy? Or Oscar? Hi, this is Oscar the Grouch. I'm not in right now, and neither is Slimy. But you can leave a message after the splat, and maybe we'll call you back. Bye. Y B D H I E X M W A R S J K O V C T G Z L Q U F N P X U F Listen now to the letter F. F. Because in the next few fragments, the letter F will be featured. F. This is my fantastic flea circus, featuring the fabulous flea family, Freddy, Fats, Fanny, Filbert, and Floyd Flea. Floyd has the flu. Flu? Mm -hmm. So Fats will fill in for Floyd. Fine. But make it fast, because Fats has a five o'clock flight to Finland. Let's feature Fats first on the format, then. Fire away, Fats! First, I fly the flag. Then a flute fanfare. <laughs> then I do a flying flip. <laughs> Oh, I fractured my foot. Now featuring Freddy and Fanny Flea firing the field cannon on Fort Pumter. Freddy and Fanny are feuding and refuse to perform. Find Filbert to fill in. I'm Filbert. Listen, Filbert, you follow Fats and fire on the fort. Fine, fine. First, I put the flame to the fuse and... Filbert, you fool. Oh, fooey. Anybody want to buy a used F? J. I was named after the letter J, because everything my family does starts with a J. There are folks who poke fun at the way my family's run. It's a joking, joyful, jumping jamboree. 
So if you'd like a job, just join our jolly mob And we'll show you how much fun a J can be My sister's in the judo My father likes to jog My mother washes jelly jars My uncle jumps a log Big brother flies a jet plane My nephew drives a jeep Junior is a jitterbug And grandma juggles sheep My niece plays in a jazz band My granddad Jimmy's doors My cousin runs a jackal farm My auntie judges boars Great uncle raises John Quills Great granddad plays with jacks My wife became a journeyman And me, well, I just stay out of their way Jay T V This is a vase that I'll put in this vat Away from the villain in the Panama hat I am the villain in the Panama hat And I'm after that vase that's here in this vat <laughs> I'll fill it with vinegar and throw in some varnish and top that all off with some violet garnish. <laughs> and now I will slip it here under my vest. Oh, no, you don't, villain. You're under arrest. V. Flowers. Hi there, this is Ernie, and you've just reached the Bert and Ernie joke line. Here's a joke. How do you catch a fish? Give up? You have a friend throw one to you. <laughs> Pretty funny, huh? Call back again for some more great jokes. Here's laughing with you. Bye-bye. Little Red Riding Bird. Once upon a time, there was a bird who always wore a red cape, so everyone called him Little Red Riding Bird. One day, Little Red Riding Bird merrily... Little Red Riding Bird was very careful to avoid wicked wolves, tricky foxes, and other ill-behaved creatures. Little did he know that the trickiest creature of all awaited him at Grandmother Bird's house. When Little Red Riding Bird got to Grandma Bird's house, he was surprised to find Grandma in bed wearing her bonnet with the blankets and sheets pulled up close to her chin. Why, Granny! Little Red Riding Bird said. What grouchy eyes you have. All the better to stare at you with, my dear, Granny said. And Granny, what funny eyebrows you have. Little Red Riding Bird said. All the better to frown and make funny faces with, my dear. And Granny, what a grumpy voice you have. Little Red Riding Bird said. All the better to argue and complain with, my dear. And besides, what's wrong with my voice? But before Little Red Riding Bird could answer, the grouch who had been pretending he was Granny Bird all along leapt up and grabbed Little Red Riding Bird's basket of goodies. Then, just as suddenly, the real Granny Bird appeared. She had been outside picking birdberries the whole time. The Grouch and Grandma Bird both grabbed the basket of goodies as Little Red Riding Bird looked on. Those goodies are mine, the Grouch said. Who would get the basket of goodies? <laughs> 